join me in this video while I start doing the collage work on this hope piece of artwork. It's going to be a good one. Hello there. So um, today I'm going to start my collage on the Hope um, panel. It is 12 inches wide and 36 inches. It does not fit on the camera. <laughs> um, the area that I'm going to be collaging today is this area on both sides of the hand. And I need to get this arc cut correctly. We're going to use our tool and I'm going to do some of these papers and also maybe more towards the bottom of the, of the arm because there is another circle down on the other end right here. <laughs> um, we're going to be putting we're going to transition into these papers and maybe, I don't know, as we go along, I may change my mind on that, but we're going to see, you know, I might want to do, this is a simpler design than this. So, you know, I have different variations, so I don't know. They're all like in the same color, color family, which is good. This one almost seems too perfect. I like the grungier looking ones. So I'm not really sure. We're going to cut some arcs and start on this top part. And we just have to do some torn pieces here. And then maybe decide whether we're going to use these. But that was the original plan. And I really didn't need to make two of them. Probably one of them would have been enough. I always think I have a much bigger space than I, than I needed. So, you know, I might just, you know, stop it here. And then transition into these colors up here. So we're going to cut some arcs first. Hopefully we cut them in the right place. So I had pulled my cutter as far out as it'll go. And it won't be perfect, but it'll it'll do the job. Because I think my circles are actually 13 inches. Um, this So this arc was made with a 13 inch uh, compass. And this is a little bit more than 12 and a half. But I'm only using portions of the arc, so I think it's going to be fine. Okay, let's cut. Let's do some cutting. Okay, so if you saw my tiny tip video recently, I'm using this Cricut mat to cut some arcs. I'm going to tack it down. This is a brayer I use only for my Cricut. I never put any paint on it. Okay, so I think I'm going to go this way. Oh, I didn't take off my little guard off the blade. Can't cut with that on. So the part that I'd be using is this part. And this part. 
I'm going to save this for other parts of the collage that I'm going to tear. I'm just going to cut a couple of them and see, and then see what works. I want to get the colorful part. Seems to only want to cut from one direction. I think that let me see if I can cut a piece of this. nice shape I got. Oh, that was a happy accident. I also have this. So at some point it always likes to tear. Fantastic. I'm going to do that same thing again where I got it to. Oops. do one more and then I'm going to get started with the collage. I'm going to get it burnished down pretty good. getting the hang of it it's getting easier okay so let's move this out of the way okay so now I'm ready to start to do my collage but the hand needs I need to have a template of this so so that I know where my edge is I'm going to cut this out and use it as a template
Okay, so I'm just using some of my masking tape in a few places, just tacking it down so it doesn't move, but I'm leaving it, you know, free to lift up. But this way we can lift it, we can cut around, lift it and make sure that we're good. So it'll go back and forth. So I have some gel medium I'm going to wet my brush and get my <clears throat> I always have, like to have one of these folded up to blot my brush so I can get some of the water off put it over here but you want a moist brush before you go and stick it in your gel medium. Now I've got too much water, as you can see. And we must have a catalyst wedge. Must. So I have black gesso, so it might dull some of the colors, but I don't think that would be too bad. So depending on which way you pull, you either get this white edge or you get a neater edge. So this is where I have to start cutting around the fingers. This part's going to be tedious. I don't know if I want so much black. I'm going to keep this side blue, this side orange, I think. Let me see if that's a good idea. You know, maybe I better mix them up. I'm going to mix it up a bit. <laughs> This one I'm going to use over here. Okay, here we go.
Oh, stuck to it. That's good. <laughs> so this black area is where my fabric mosaic is going to go. So any any damage that it, that I do to it, like what I just did now, will be covered up. Bit of blue right here. I need to put something in here. I'm thinking maybe green. that I cut one from any papers that were green. So if not, actually this piece right here might be good. So some of the fibers from the back of the rice paper stick to my board sometimes. It's one of the things that I don't like about the rice paper, but then I love the way it like seamlessly blends into each other. too straight.
So like I said, when I, I will put more black gesso down, cover all this up before I put my fabric mosaic down. Okay, so the arc part is done. Now I'm free to like, except for till we get to the bottom, then we'll use those other arc papers. We are working now in this area, so I've anchored my, my template to come from the top down.
see. There's a part of me that wants to use this part that has the stencil in some of this area. Okay, so all of the, oh, no, got one more spot right here in the corner. Oh, and over here, there's two little spots. Um, I'm going to find some blue.
Okay, I am going to let that dry. And then after it dries, I'm going to trim off all the edges. And then we'll decide to do what's next. I don't know if I want to do the gold leaf or paint this. I also have to cut a circle for here and I have to do a little bit of collage way down on the end. So anyway, we're going to let this dry for now. Okay, so I have this tub of black gesso, and I'm just going to go around the edge very carefully to touch up wherever my paper got stuck. So a lot of times when you're creating artwork, things happen. Things unexpectedly happen. <laughs> but you can always fix them. So I never... I ne never get too stressed out about it. I may have to move my camera so that you can see what I'm doing. So this area right here it's dark against dark and it might become a problem. So I'm going to wait and see how the fabric mosaic goes. And if the hand isn't really reading correctly over there, I might add another piece of paper, another collage piece. Okay, so that is ready for the fabric mosaic. And <clears throat> this area here we could probably paint today. So I mixed up some paint. And I'm not even sure it's still, it's the correct color at this time. So this bottom circle, the black gesso was just way too dark. I could not get the right color of, um, I don't know what kind of, it's like an orangey color, a little bit of salmon in there. Um, I just could not get it right over the black gesso. So I painted white gesso over that whole section. And now I think we're going to be able to get the proper color. Okay, so this is completely dry. Make sure that my frisket is still in place. And I am going to attempt... I'm going to mix, I'm going to put this in, but I don't want it to be like a solid orange color. So I'm thinking that while it's still wet, I'm going to want to like mix a, a little of those colors into it again. You know, like the, um, the yellow. so that it's not all one color, and even a little bit of the red. And I might still have to layer this a little bit. Because I'm getting a lot of brush strokes that, and I'm hairs from my from my brush. This is a pretty good brush. I don't understand why it's falling apart. I've had it a really long time. Maybe that's why.
Okay, we're going to let this one dry. Then we'll put a second coat. For some reason, my frisket is lifting over here. I have that corner piece might have to get replaced. Okay, let's um, let's do another coat. Same thing. Actually, this is working out really well. So I am just going to leave it like that. It's kind of a slightly mottled look of color, of mixture. Almost like a, I don't know, Venetian plaster? <laughs> I have no idea. But it's kind of like a very subtle mixture of those three colors. carefully measured to make sure this is in the right spot. Sure hope it is. <laughs> Gonna double check because like they say, measure twice, cut once in this case. So in addition to, you know, there has to be because it's the, the, the circle is actually 13 inches it's going off the edge. So I had to keep, I had to add an extra half an inch this way. I didn't quite do an extra half an inch, but visually I think it looks good. So I'm going to leave it. I may regret this. <laughs> may regret it. I still have to trim these two corners and then I'm done. Okay, so just a quick trim. And then I'm going to start planning next week's video, which will be the fabric mosaic in the hand part. So I've decided to make two more videos. So the hand will be the fabric mosaic, followed by another video that will be for the copper leaf. I just think it's too much to try to fit all into one video. And I'll try to fit some other maybe gel printing videos in between. So anyway, don't forget to create, inspire, and share. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.